Reportedly asking about changing the lease payments, which amounts to nearly $268,000 a month, according to the federal government. And the landlord that will decide the outcome of the request, none other than the Trump administration. Joining me now is David Inverse, a business investigations editor for The Times and the author of Dark Towers. David, good to see you. Thank you for coming on. So walk us through your reporting. The Trump Organization is essentially looking for help on its rent from the Trump administration. Right. Well, as part of the lease agreement that the Trump Organization signed several years ago to get this federal building that they could transform into a hotel, they agreed to make these monthly payments of about $268,000. And now, because of the coronavirus, the Trump Organization, like many other businesses, has really fallen on tough times. Their hotels are being closed, their golf courses around the country are being closed. And so the Trump Organization is doing everything it can to get a break wherever it can. And one of the places it's turning is the federal government that's its landlord. And it, so it is requested that whatever breaks the General Services Administration, which is the arm of the government that hands this, is given to anyone, the Trump Organization wants a piece of that. So David, Eric Trump uh, saying in a statement uh, to the Times, and a quote here, it says, uh, just treat us the same, uh, whatever that may be is fine. But isn't that exactly the same as any other company? Well, not every other company is run by the President of the United States. And so I think the one of the really serious concerns that a lot of critics have been voicing since even before Trump was elected President was that if he is in charge of the federal government, having him controlling his business, which does business with the federal government and with state and local governments as well, represents a massive potential conflict of interest. And it's Wasn't this the whole point hard. of divesting in the emoluments clause and so on? Didn't everyone warn about this? And Sorry, go on. Yeah, the, 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 this is basically a textbook case of the conflict of interest that a lot of people have been warning about since day one. And there, this is it's going to be very hard for a, a senior federal official in the Trump administration to say no to the Trump organization, you would imagine. And so it's a, it's a very unusual and potentially problematic situation. David, thank you. Appreciate you coming on, and thanks for your great report. Thanks so much.